uh, take a look at a problem involving um, a number line. And we're going to try to find the length of the segment, and then it says find the, the coordinates of the midpoint. So I'm looking at 39, and you can see that we're going from, it looks like negative 8 up to, that looks like 1. And so we're going to find the distance. Well, two ways you could do it. The first thing that you could do is on the number line itself. I would probably make a little mark here at zero if you're going, you know, if they're doing some positive numbers, some negative. Because that allows you to see from zero to negative eight is eight, and from zero to one is one. So all that all altogether that's gonna be a distance of nine. Another way that you can do that is thinking in absolute value. And just say, I'm gonna add those two numbers, negative one, or excuse me, negative eight, uh, and add it or excuse me, subtract, you're, you're looking for the difference here, negative 8 minus a 1. And whatever the absolute value is of that difference, so the absolute value of negative 9 is the same thing as 9, that's going to be your total distance. Okay, so there's really two ways to find that total distance. Um, what's the, the midpoint of that segment? Well, your midpoint is halfway um, across the distance of that segment. So if our distance was 9, then we would take 9 and divide it by 2, and our distance from each of the endpoints has to be 4.5. So now I can take this and I can either go back 4.5 from this point, or I can go up 4.5 from this point, and either way you're going to end right there at uh, negative three and a half. Negative three and a half happens to be the, the midpoint of this segment.